Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on the Saga Incursions. So thank you for the last video, everybody loved it with uh, the Power Sting build. So I got a lot of comments like, how do you build Aegon to get to room 15? So let's jump right into it. As I uh, explain what are the builds that you need to go with Aegon, you're going to see gameplay for room 14 and room 15 from the Saga Incursions. So first things first, uh, room number one is going to have two uh, boss hacks. The first one is going to be, uh, you can choose one of three, that one is unstoppably healthy, one is regenerative assimilation and kill and chill. I would suggest you to go for unstoppably healthy, so whenever you use a special attack, you will go unstoppable as well. Now moving on to the next node, you are going to choose buff cornucopia. Now people will say go for rage into combat, but that is not really helpful here because for rage into combat you need to constantly gain buffs and the only time Aegon constantly gains buffs is when he's above 250 where he gets, starts getting true strike buffs and above 300 when he starts getting fury buffs so we can leave that for later so go for buff cornucopia and you're good for there now once you run through the room 1, 2, 3 and you get at the end of room 4 here you are looking for either one of the two nodes one is rage into combat or martial artist more importantly you're looking for rage into combat so whenever you will gain a fury you, you will gain a bar of power so that will quickly give you an sp3 and we all know that Aegon when uses an sp3 is going to stun the opponent or you can go with martial artist so martial artist gives extra damage on your basic attacks and also increases the duration of your buffs and debuffs that means increasing the uh, the timer on the stun so whichever is available you can take that but if you don't find any of those i would say quit and come back again later it's very important to have this combo boss node number one unstoppably healthy boss node number two buff cornucopia from room one and in room four you need to get rage into combat or martial artist once you have that you have your basics ready and then you can jump into get uh, focusing on some uh, focusing on some uh, basic hacks so some really good basic hacks at work are going to be buff upgrade fury so the whole concept of this build is we get to three bars of power we throw our sp3 we power lock the opponent and we keep repeating that sp3 hits sp3 hits and by that time the defender is down now once we have our rage into combat and buff cornucopia or martial artist we have that covered now we either need to enhance our damage or we need to enhance our stun duration now there are some amazing basic um, um, like non-boss nodes that help you so the first one is buff upgrade fury that increases the potency of your fury there's also attribute boost gives you 20 percent extra damage good good that means extra damage for us now there's also buff reinforcement fury I personally really like uh, attack surge, unique buff count, so for every unique buff on you, your damage is increased. So with buff cornucopia, that synergizes really well. There's also plus 50% extra stun duration, that is, um, that is a must if you're going for that. And also another one is your attack enhancement on basic attacks. So to get all of these in, and the whole thing with Aegon is get to SP3, throw that out, and... Uh, just keep hitting the opponent and you'll keep getting back to back sp3 especially if you have a relic equipped and yeah that is the full build for Aegon. just be careful though if you get a defender if you get a defender that has masochism or that has an um, that can purify your stuns just be careful about that maybe tenacity but if you play around it it's really well and i would also suggest bring somebody like venom or a gore or somebody like a hyperion that can also take advantage of buff cornucopia so if there's a certain fight you cannot take with Aegon, your team can synergize with it. My favorite team is Aegon and uh, Venom along with uh, Scorpion. So any fight if there's a Mystic Champion Aegon or um, Venom cannot take because of too many buffs, Scorpion jumps in and Scorpion has a great synergy with Venom too. So that is my favorite team for this uh, uh, for these saga incursions let me know yours in the comment section down below and let me know if this video helped you out i have another lined up for angela and odin uh, if you guys want to see that leave it in the comments down below and i will make that up as well so thank you for joining in i will leave you with the remaining takedowns the remaining last two takedowns of room 15 and i'll see you on the next one guys have a good one bye